We're just going to use our uh, well water source here, um, but you can take and just fill up your container. You could be filling it with uh, rainwater as it's today. Whatever you want to filter, pond water, rainwater, tap water, it doesn't really matter. Obviously the cleaner the better, but the, uh, the filter's been tested with very, very dirty water. So we'll fill it up with a mixture of all different types of water. Okay, let's go filter this thing. Hey folks, Engineer775 here wanting to share with you another product. That I get sent a lot of products and this is another one and these things keep improving. So I'm just excited to share these with you. The Aquabrick is this product. It is a water filtration, water container, storage container, and also a food storage container. Let me tell you about it in terms of um, it as a container. What I like about it, as you can see, it's, it's molded, it's stackable. You can stack these up. I've got water in this one right now, but these things can stack, stack up in a lot of different configurations. And what I like about this, and I've showed you the water brick, I, I mean the yeah, the water bricks before, um, the thing about the water bricks, I don't really like their handles because they fall off. These handles are molded in, so it's very easy to um, use these to pick these up. They're very strong handles, and so they work really extremely well for that. So they're stackable, three gallons of water stored, or about 20, 20 pounds of food. And the other neat thing about this is it's not only a storage container system, because you can just get it as a container system, but it has also, they've in, developed this awesome water filter. Now I know it, you're going to say another water filter. Um, with water filters, it's kind of the wild west of water filtration. Everybody has their claims. I've looked at Sawyer, I've looked at Lifesaver, Life Straw, Dalton, Berkey, now Aqua Brick, um, and all different other ways to treat water. Um, and so there is no, there's been really no control on end of life uh, studies with water filtration devices. And so people are claiming 100,000 million gallons, but there's really no way to prove that. So what I like about this system, this is by Sagan Filters, they're doing end of life studies where they actually fill these containers and filter water that is really uh, contaminated. And then every 25 gallons, they bombard the filter with the same contaminated water. And they keep doing this to figure out exactly what is the end of life of this filter. How much water, how much nasty water can this really handle and not quote millions of gallon, gallons or 100,000 gallons. So what this filter can handle is about seven, 550 gallons of heavily contaminated water. It will filter bi um, biological, virus, and, and other things. And there'll be spec sheets and you can look at all that it can handle. But it's like 99.9999% biological and 99.99% viral. So, so you have this DuraFlow filter. So let me talk to you about the filtration system. We have filled our container with water. I'll show you how it works. The filtration system, you have these nice quick release fittings that clamp onto and snap in on the bottom. So I'm gonna put my filter in my water source. And today it's a mixture of rainwater and well water. And because it's um, able to remove uh, not only biological but virus, the filter is obviously very small. It requires positive pressure to actually get the water to go through the filter. So you have this little bulb. All right, so I'm just pressurizing the filter and the water has come up in my tube so I can actually take and now get that water I can also completely open the spigot like most spigots continue to pump that water through and that water is safe to drink now I could be putting it directly into my other storage aqua brick storage container and leave this as my dirty water uh, filter and just fill up three gallons at a time with the aqua bricks. But for now, I wanted to show you how this can be used as a food storage, so I don't want to put water in there. So it's pretty simple, very easy to use. Just pressurize and then open your spigot. And you have nicely filtered water. Again, I'm testing this in North America. We really don't have viral load in our water. Thankfully, 
and uh, but that not, might not always be the case. This will handle, again, biological contaminants and viral, and there'll be spec sheets that you can check out for yourself. But this has been end of life tested, so they're kind of leveling the playing field so that all filters will go through an end of life testing, so there's no exaggeration. So this is rated at 550 gallons with really nasty water. We never recommend you starting with that, always pre-filter if you can. Start with the cleanest source of water, but if you only have really bad groundwater to filter, then you can then the, the, you can be confident that this is going to be tested. All the spec sheets, the independent third-party lab results are in on this. And so I really like what they've done. Let's level the playing field. The Lifesaver, the Dalton, you know, at least have a filter, but also know that, you know, this quoting millions of gallons of water is not realistic and it would clog up most filters that I've seen with the water that they've been using to test this. So it is a storage system, it is a filtration system, and it also you can obviously put other things in here like food. They also have this big heavy duty funnel system where you can actually pour your food in there. And the neat thing is this also fits also fits a standard mason jar, canning jar, so that's kind of cool. So if you want to use them for food storage, we just have some field peas that we planted and harvested from last year. Very easy to fill them up. It'll hold, again, like 20, 20 pounds. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put them right back in their jar. But I like, again, the handles are molded in. You're not gonna lose handles. And then you can actually fill up your mason jars, hand jars, right to the last seed or last bean. So, all right, so that's pretty much it as a food storage system. Whoops, got good thick flat gaskets in there and obviously we can take this filter off just to show you. So you heard the pressure relief release there when I unscrew the cap. So you have your, your filter and that's your system. Okay. You can also just, instead of having a spigot, just go directly into a container with, with a hose. So I think that's about it. This, again, this is an aqua brick. Look in the description. And a lot of people ask, where do I find information on this? Everything that we tell you about on our YouTube channel, we put in the description. So if you're interested in a system, just Click on the link, look in the description, click on the link, so it'll take you to our website, and you can check it out. So, or if you just want a storage system that stacks, you don't need to get the filter. And so, all right, I think that's it. Hopefully I've answered any questions you have about it. Um, again, look in the description for all the information about it, and we'll be back with another product review. This is Engineer775, signing out.